second. We see Rowling get through there. It looks like he grabs his, they say his face mask. That's going to be 15 yards. And we they hear the, the Smith fans boom because they thought that he grabbed him around the collar of his shoulder pad. Right. So he did. I mean, that, it looked it looked bad from up here. Yeah, but it's not an automatic first down. It's still second down. Ooh. A lot of times we think it's it's a college rule. The college rule is an automatic first down, but it is a you just get your 15 yards. And we saw some personal fouls last last week on Spoken Light Conduct. They don't carry automatic first down. So it's second down now, and uh, I don't know about three. And lose down, yeah. And this time to turn around, the handoff for Western Branch. I mean, he's just like he, he's, he's he's like cornered, like, man. Yeah, he's like, oh, where am I, I can't gonna go, go this way? No, can't go this way. I can't go that way. Ooh, not a good sign here. Number, we see Fentress down. He gets up, maybe oh, a little cramping. Oh, little I little don't know. I think maybe twisted his knee. Ooh, that's not good. Looking over to the sideline. We see Merner getting the ball from the fullback position, but man, he's looking at—he's got nowhere to go. Whitmore is coming down from one side. You have linebackers. We see number 34, Junior uh, Jones in there. Oh, excuse me, Joseph Jones in there. And that's the end of the first quarter. Yeah, that is the end of the first quarter with the score 21 to seven in favor of the Oscar Smith Tigers. And if you look at that first quarter, Oscar or Western Branch rather had seven rushes. And the largest rush they had of those seven rushes was a seven yard run. The other rushes were for three yards. They had four one yard rushes and one for negative three. That's, yeah. that, that's not really what you need if you're going to score. Now, they did have one pass play, by the way, for 55 yards and a touchdown. Now, conversely, you have Oscar Smith, five first downs all by the rush. Now, their rushes were 16, 19, 22, 28, 18. That's a lot of that's a lot of rushes right yeah, there. Right. And, and uh, I bet number six attached to a lot. Of I tell you, number six and number two. Yeah, that's it. That's all you need. Bro, well, let's take a look at this uh, top ten. This is uh, I imagine you'll see these two teams in this uh, regional top ten. I guess. I suppose so. But look, oh, you at still have Lansdowne at number one, huh? Yeah, Lansdowne's number one. They still haven't been beaten. Smith Tigers number two. I'm telling you, it's hard to put them in number two, man, with the way they're playing tonight. On down, uh, big games tonight. Uh, Kempsville is playing Cox. Kellum is playing Tallwood. You got uh, Granby playing Lake Taylor tonight. Who's this? Fr this Franklin team is playing what is that? Cumberland here. Cumberland. Hey, look, let me ask you this: You got Indian River at number ten, and they're one and two. Uh, I got Indian River. Indian River. I <laughs> They got moved, something happened, and it got moved, but hey. Oh, Indian something River. happened, they got moved down, you mean? Well, you see, had them higher than that. Yeah, well, Indian River's At got one it. and two. They got an important game tonight oh, against Hickory. Hickory. Yeah. yeah. This time with the carry for the Western Branch Bruins is number 22, and we've called that name before. That's Cortland Mariner, and he's going to be close to a first down. Yeah, it looks like he's going to pick up that first down. And that's what Western Branch definitely needs. Uh, they need to, to keep the possession of the ball because the Tigers have not been stopped tonight. No. Just getting underway in the second quarter here. 21-7 in favor of the Oscar Smith Tigers here on WCTV Channel 48 and live on 88.7 WFOS Chesapeake. That's a radio station, by the way. It looks like this time they're... They oh, oh, that's almost picked the ball. off from Peter Conroy. He tries to get the pass out there, almost picked off, and that's an incomplete pass. So to bring up second down and 10 for the Bruins. And they baited Conroy that time. They wanted him to throw the ball to the guy going down the scene. Tommy Lawrence timed it perfectly, was not able to hold on. Right. Good play by that defensive secondary. Very athletic defensive secondary. If you throw the ball, they're going to make a they play They have been on around it. it. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. 11.29 now to play. And you know, that long pass play uh, from Conroy to Tyson got their attention. They didn't think they could be beaten. And now oh. they know they can be beaten deep, and the, the Western Branch has some speed. So that that's sort of you know, got their attention. Now they're, they're, they're all playing a little better. Chris Tyson going in a little bit of motion there for Western Branch. Now Alton Bradley, number 34. Alton Bradley is going to go. Oh, an option that time. Good ball faking by Conroy. And on the carry that time for the Bruins, that's his first carry of the night, I believe, except for the, the time he was tackled before he could do anything with the ball. And um, he picks up, uh, well, he picks up about what, about four yards? About four yards, but good ball handling by Conroy. That's something we, we see. 
something that we saw a lot from, from Pond, and, and Conroy has picked that up. Did a great job because everybody converged on Mariner. Conroy was able to take it and pick up four. 10 minutes, 49 seconds to play in the first half. But again, third down and long, and Smith yeah. has about seven men in the box this time. Conroy about halfway fakes a handoff. Uh, and that pass intended for Western Branch's number 85, Josh Baker. No penalty markers went down. All right. Seemed like mayby they should have. Yeah, right, let's take I a look at the replay. That. They tackled him. Let's see. We got Thorn there. Oh, he had a little contact. Oh, he yeah, touched some contact. Yeah, he did touch. Yeah. The Not as, oh, there is a penalty marker on the field now, laying at the 40-yard line. Holding 54. Penalty decline. But that's not the one they wanted. No, that's not the one that they wanted. So that penalty be declined. That's only Western Branch's second, but it's not going to count because it was declined. Fred Butt. And we have a dangerous set of receivers back for Western Branch. And we see uh, Coach Johnson talking to Conroy. Again, Coach Johnson was very loose before the game. Not going to put a lot of pressure on his players. But back to receive is number one, Tommy Lawrence, and number three, Dexter Merritt. And to kick it away again for the Western Branch Bruins is number 85, Josh Baker. He's been all over the place now. He plays defense as well. Came around the corner and almost got his hand. Well, got his hands on Greg Boone, but that was about it. Nice snap. The ball is kicked away. And boy, that's a nice punt. That'll be taken by Tommy Lawrence back at the 20-yard line. Gets a fair, fair catch and sets the Tigers up. First and 10 from their own 20. Again, you don't want to do too much. Uh, you know, you have an offense that hasn't been stopped tonight. And, and now Washington Branch really has them pinned back. And what they'd like to do is get a three and out and get the ball back in, in good field position. Western Branch stats tonight being provided by Melby Stats Incorporated. Hey, look, the Western Branch Band Boosters providing dinner tonight to the WCTV crew. But again, everybody but the talent, everybody but the people in the press box get something to eat. What is it? that? You get any? No. Oh, man. Did you? Nah, Did you get any? Nah, Melissa nah, get any? No, Melissa didn't get any. Nobody got it. Up here. That's nice. And I was early, too, for once. Oh, a screen is oh, set up a well. Screen pass. Isn't that nice? There's that's nobody on that side. Andre Cook, he's out to the 50, and he will be brought oh. out of bounds. Let's see where they spot this ball at the 50-yard line. Did they set that up well? He had four blockers in front of him and nobody. Look at this. He had four blocks in front of him. Well conceived play, a simple screen pass, a safe pass. Look at the blockers in front of him. They have nobody to block. Oh, you hate to see that if you're Good a Western Branch fan. night. And Andre Cook keeps going. He picks up another five or six yards after, uh, after the first contact. Man, 30 yards on, on that play. The Tigers, Morgan, I, man, you know what? It wouldn't surprise me if he didn't start game planning for this game after the last game. He had a whole year to game plan. I mean, this guy's pulling out everything. That was a beautiful play. Oh, it was excellent. I love oh, that screen man, pass. Set up Kelly. perfectly. Dang. Perfect time to call it, too. 10-21 to play in the first half. Oscar Smith with the ball at the 50-yard line and a 21-7 lead over Western Branch here at the Art Brander Sports Complex. Boone acts like he wants to pass, but then steps up and tries to carry the ball. And 27 Western Branch Bruins finally bring him down. Tell and you that'll be for a loss run of about six yards. This looked like a Statue of Liberty play. He faked it, and he had an end coming around, and I think he wanted to give it to him. But hey, Western Branch, you Look have to He's swarm. He's still standing. Yeah. You yeah. got to swarm him. You got to swarm him. One guy's not going to bring him down. Well, I saw here earlier that the uh, Wavy TV 10 night flight helicopter was here earlier. Maybe they're the ones that are bringing us something to eat tonight. No. <laughs> <laughs> are they bringing us something to eat, you think? I mean, are they bringing dinner? They yeah. went away. I said, hey, man, we didn't get anything last week. They said they're going to go get some pizza. They're going to help us out. Hey, thanks, guys. Thanks, Bruce. Second down now and long for Oscar Smith. That was a loss of six or seven on that play. Boone well protected. He wants to pass. He's got one guy open. And oh, that is, oh, that oh is interception. Off. That is picked off by Western Branch's number two, Peter Conroy. Not Peter Conroy, but Gerard Copeland. Good position there by Copeland. By Copeland, Jerry Copeland, one on one. Did not give up his inside position. We see Boone back. And it was just a fly pattern. 
man on man. That's all. A hey, man on man. Copeland had him, would not give up that inside position. Lawrence tried to jump over top of him. Copeland would not give that to him, knocked the ball away, and kept concentration in order to pick off the pass. Excellent play that time by number two, Jared Copeland, a senior, 5'7", 150. Didn't make any progress with that, but he did pick it off. Nonetheless, 9.22 to play in the first half. Motion from the near side to the far. Convoy oh, fumble. Away, hands it off to, and you know again, what? to uh, the guy he's like to go to all night, Devin Fentress, but he's actually going to lose about a yard on that. And he had some room to run. If he hadn't fumbled the ball, they had this side blocked off pretty well. He could, he had that, that, the guard had pulled and had blocked the end. Man, he could have run for a lot, a lot of yards. And there it is, the Wiggly TV. This is the game to come to. i got to start coming in that way. Now, why, why don't we? Well, if they're not going to feed me, at least they can bring I mean, me in on a helicopter. You know LV. Oh, that's sweet. They're actually backing up. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Boy, that's some, that's some nifty flying. Tell them to stop the play so we can see this, hel this helicopter come in. Yeah. Oh, they I got him this time. Uh, didn't yeah, fool anybody. Uh, they didn't fool a soul with that. Man, and that's his third and long. And there we go. We see Conroy good fake that time. But I'm telling you, the Tigers, you had Macklin coming in. You had uh, Macklin and, and also number 56, Vernon Cuffey. Both guys just say, hey, let's have a meet. Let's meet these guys. Meet them right there. First down, or third down, rather, and long for Western Branch. They're back at about their, I don't know, six or seven yard line. Conroy's under center. And the handoff, oh, they run a reverse. Fentress gets the ball, but he hands off to going the other way. Man, that's a dangerous play down there. Alton in the Bradley. Door. Alton Bradley carries it for virtually no gain. So on that carry, number 34, Alton Bradley, and virtually no gain, just zero yards. So the night flight's helicopter, after some nice little uh, maneuvering out there, is finally here with the pizza for the people in the press box. And we yeah, see I really don't mind uh -huh. them not feeding me, but I'm not saying anything anymore about it. There we see back to return is Dexter Merritt and back to punt Josh Baker in his end zone, by the way. Kick is away. And call for oh, a fair he falls catch, but down. he drops it after he touches it. But no, that, of course. <laughs> wow. Oh, how about that? Man, you say, why do you want to catch why that? Do that? Man, uh -huh. get away. From I don't. That. Yeah, because look, the ball would have bounced at the 40, uh, at, yeah. the, at the 39 yard line. I mean, how bad could it be? He <laughs> <laughs> lived life on the edge there, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, man, I tell you, man, you, you want him to catch the ball because you don't want the ball to go away, but you don't want him to fall down and flip the ball like that. Ooh. That's not what you <laughs> Coach Morgan said, no. Oh. No, that's not, it's not good. You know what? Now, he heard you say he should fair catch the ball. Yeah. So that's what he was he trying to do, I guess. Yeah, yeah. man, I'm telling you, when you lose your balance, get away from it. Let's go, D! A bad snap right there, a low snap. Boom brings the ball to the near side. He is able to oh turn my it into something. Oh, there's 30, nobody out there. The 20. He's brought down to 20 after he picks up a first down. Well, I'm telling you. I think Greg Boone is a stud. Yeah. That's a pickup of about 16. And uh, good night. Down to the 20 yard back in business again. Man, when they get the short field, man, they really take yeah, advantage they of it. I tell you what, and then this is nothing against any other team that we've seen, but this Oscar Smith team is well coached. Yeah. I mean, well prepared, and the play calling is 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 incredible. And they have that four wide out set, just to spread the field. And you got a new runner this oh, time. Oh, sure too. He has stood up just a little bit beyond the line of scrimmage on that carry number 34, Joseph Jones. We've called his name before, and he will pick up a little bit. He'll pick up. Well, we'll call it two yards on that play. Take a look at this one. He gets stood up. Yeah, he gets stood up, but he's a power runner. I mean, he reminds me. He just, he's no, not really. Actually, that was an exaggeration. He, he, he gets three tough yards, but uh, that's what you want. You know, he can bring the toughness. And, uh, you know, now you can give rest to number two, 
Andre Cook. Yeah. Andre Cook still not in the uh, backfield here for Oscar Smith. Boone takes the ball. He wants to pass it. He's got two receivers. He acts like he wants to pass it. Oh, that's a uh, penalty marker goes down. Boone's going to take the ball. He gets to the 10. About the eight yard line before he runs out of bounds. Looks like a hole there, Rich. Yeah. I would think. Yep. Against Oscar Smith. That'll back him up. Tell you what, a, a, a bit of a, a, a festive atmosphere here. As you can see, Marlon, if you look now, there is standing room only around the track on the Oscar Smith side of the field. Um, and even all the way over here, this is a big crowd. Hey, you know, and this is a venue you want to come to to see a big game. And you yes. see all of the construction going on around here. They're building the Art Brand of Sports Complex. And uh, people, if you're going, you can contribute to that anytime you want to by calling Mark Ditterwick at Western Branch High School. He's the AD. And Just uh, make checks payable to Richie Bad. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, that'll, that'll this happen. is going to be some special complex once everything is done. Yeah. I tell you what, the press box is great. Yeah. Now, yeah. They've done the press box first, as they should. 6:02 to play in the first half. Second down and long. Looks like almost second down and 20 for Oscar Smith. Boone is back to pass. He gets good protection. Couple receivers looking this way. Nice play right there from guess who? Western Branch's number seven, Chris Tyson. Beautifully timed attempt to bat that pass away, and he is successful in doing that. Tyson, one on one out there, and he's not afraid to, to, to take on Lawrence. He's one on one with Lawrence, and there's Boone. Has a guy under throws him because he thinks that his guy's the only one watching the ball, but Tyson does a good job of getting his head turned around quickly to knock the ball down. So that brings up third down and about 20. Oscar Smith with the ball at their own 30-yard line. And again, this is this is four-down territory. They're going to go for it on fourth down. They're going to pick up a little bit now and then hopefully pick up the rest of it on fourth down if they don't pick it all up now. Out of the shotgun. Boone takes a snap. He has time. A little screen pass up the middle. Complete to Oscar Smith's number eight. Now on Sandlin, but he is not even going to get back to the original line of scrimmage, which is the 20 yard line. Say five yards short of that. And that's what you call a circle, a circle right out of the backfield. Sandlin lined up in the backfield, just circled right out of the backfield, gets the ball, a nice safe pass. Good tackle that time. A good tackle. Got to be on the ball. You grab the guy, make sure you bring him down. Oscar Smith is going to call its third time out here with 5.25 to play in the first half. And again, stick around for halftime. Merlin will have an interview with uh, probably Coach Morgan, I would think, at, uh, at halftime, his team being up 21 to 7. Also, uh, Western Branch High School, the boys' baseball team won the state championship, and Merlin will go down to the field and uh, try to get a microphone in it. We can see uh, the presentation of the rings, and uh, that'll be on uh, WCTV Channel 48. You will not hear that on WFLS. And uh, also, uh, we see both, I believe, both bands perform at halftime. I think over the years, we have not been able to. Uh, to provide that, and now we are, and I know there are a lot of happy band parents. You're just you guys not moving your feet. You're letting them hang on to you. Hey. You're not trying to beat the gap. Here we go, I need two teams talking now. Let's go. Defensive coordinator Scott Johnson said he's got to get those linebackers to shed those blockers so they can put some pressure on Boone. Wants them to move their feet and get away from those blockers. Those blockers are holding on, man. Once they grab you, you ain't getting loose. So, uh, no. They need to put some pressure on Boone. Boone's just staying back there and surveying. I mean, these guys are just running. You know, you can't cover them forever. So he has six, seven, eight seconds back there to throw the ball. 5.25 now, 21-7 Oscar Smith's lead, but they are fourth and long at the Western Branch 25-yard line. Boone wants to pass. He does have one guy. With oh, what a get into the end zone. Oh, my goodness. Pass complete to Jakari Taylor. First time we've called his name tonight, number 12. That is a beautiful pass from Greg Boone. Man, was he on the ball. That was perfect. But, again, trying to take advantage of one-on-one -on -one coverage. With, you know, on the on the uh, outside, and man, he had to put it right there. I mean, it was nowhere else to throw it. 27, no, 27 to seven. With the PAT here, Oscar Smith will make it 28 to seven. Some of the Oscar Smith players trying to get the crowd pumped up over on the uh, Tiger side. About to get a three touchdown lead here. Snap down, ball is away. 
It looks good from here, and it is. And Rich, here's the scary thing. Four touchdowns, four different players. Oh, yeah, and that is. So who do you scout? Right. Where are you going to scout? Right. You know, you can't yeah. say, you go, you know, let's concentrate on, on, on Cook because he scores all the touchdowns. He doesn't, he, he doesn't even have a touchdown tonight. No. All right. Look at this. One on one. Look at this pass. You got Taylor, oh, Taylor and Tyson. I mean, right he threaded there. the needle on Oh, yeah. That. Oh, yeah. Excellent hands. Oh. I mean, beautifully executed. Oscar Smith looks like they should be playing on Saturday instead Man, of Friday tell night. tell something. These wide receivers for Oscar Smith can catch the ball. Yeah, okay. Well, you got a quarterback that can throw the ball, and you got guys that can catch the ball, and, and guys on the backfield that can catch the ball. I mean, it's wide open. Everybody has good hands. Yeah. And, and again, you're spreading the wealth. You know, so who do you, you know, you can't say I'm going to focus on Lawrence. Well, yeah, okay, you shut down Lawrence, but then you got the other guys that are open. Right. Make sure you're up on the line. You'll be on this side. Okay. And again, all you got to do, and I'll tell you what, I didn't put you on three. To receive this time Devin Fentress for the Western Go Browns. Go to the wide side. It'll be a uh, 600 formation. She'll be a split end over there. Just tell that referee I'm a lineman. I'm okay. And again, all you got to do is just run your take off. We're going to take the bootleg this way. Come back around to you. Right by him, okay? Oh, oh, were we supposed to hear that? Call the play, brother. Hey. Oh, we're going to see the first offensive play. It's going to go right to Tyson. Yeah. Back at you. I believe that's Fentress that takes the ball deep in Western Branch territory. Gets out to the 20 where he is just thrown down. Wow, I take that back. That is not Fentress. Rather, that's number 22. No, yeah, it is number 22, Cortland Mariner. So on that return... And I tell you, if he didn't, if he didn't throw this guy down, I tell you, some guys are going to get an earful. He better be glad he threw these guys, threw this, threw Mariner down, man. We see Whitmore. That's Whitmore, man. He didn't let him go. He said, "I'm not going to make the mistake." There, my buddy Ryland made. Dude. This guy's going down. Watch it now. This is going to be an interesting play. Five eleven to play in the first half. Oscar Smith up twenty-eight to seven. Watch the receiver at the top of the screen. That's the play it's going to go to. It's going to go to Chris Tyson. Chris Tyson. We've called his name many times tonight. And it comes to the near side. And keeping the ball this time is the quarterback for Western Branch, Peter Conroy. And he's going to get out close to a Good first. And I think he got it. Yeah. Good wheels by Conroy. See, Conroy would do that, man. He doesn't, you know, he knows he doesn't have the big arm. But to tell you what, he's got the quick feet. And his feet got him out of trouble that time. There we go, a bootleg roll. He was looking for Tyson, saw him covered. He decided, hey, okay, he pushes his block and said, okay, let me get, let me use my feet to get this, get at least 10 yards. He picks up a first down. And it didn't it work. That's what you got to do. Conroy, Con, uh, Conroy knows he can beat you with his feet. Yep. So now a first down for Western Branch at the 30-yard line. 439, they have time to score. And they'd love to do that. Oh, definitely to, to go in at halftime with a score because they know that the Tigers get the ball back at the yeah. beginning of the first That's half. Exactly right. On the carry the this time for the Western Branch Bruins again is number 22, Cortland Mariner. And that'll be good. Uh, let's see where they spot this. That's good for uh, about five yards. And you talked about a lot of guys playing both ways. I mean, the Tigers have a lot of guys playing both ways as well. You have Macklin playing both ways, Whitmore along with Tim Happer. All these guys are playing on, on the offense. They look a little winded, along with Ryland as well. Second down and five. Motion coming to the near side, and the pitch will go to the motion man. Got some room. Number 20, Devin Fentress is out to 40, the 50. He's pushed out of bounds at about the Oscar Smith 47-yard line. Good play, and what really sprung that play is the blocking of the outside receiver that time was able to pick up his man 10 yards down the field. That gave Fentress another 10 yards. Gave him about 23 yards on that. Just a basic sweep. Yeah. Good blocking that time by the line. Now we see the Bruins sideline there. First and 10 now at the Oscar Smith 47 yard line. From the near side to the far, the handoff this time will go to Fentress, and he is dragged down. He doesn't even pick up a yard, really. And on that tackle for Oscar Smith is number 54, Kyle Ryan. Man, he's everywhere. He's very active along the line of scrimmage, man. 
He actually picks up, we'll give him one yard on that. Yeah, we call Rowland's name, what, at least five times yeah. tonight. I mean, he's everywhere. He's playing a defensive tackle position alongside Macklin. Clock continuing to run with 319, second down nine for Western Branch. Just into Oscar Smith territory. Everybody wants to pass into pass. Oh, it's complete, but okay. he pays for it. Number 22 for Western Branch. We've called his name all night, Cortland Mariner. He gets hammered after he catches that pass. Man, Tommy Lawrence said, okay, he comes up from his safety position, man, and he was bringing a bad message. Man, he delivered yeah, he was. It. He, man, yeah, he, he delivered he, he it to like Mariner. Good night. Wow. Nicely, nicely play, designed, yeah. nicely executed pass play, but whoo, that's going to leave a mark. 2.39, 2.36 o'clock, continuing to run. Western Branch still has a timeout or two, don't they? They, they still have one. Uh, I think they have all three times. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Oh, oh. boy, Fentress just able to get that ball on his fingertips on the pitch, and he'll get out to the 40 and roll to the 35-yard line, and that'll be good for an Oscar, or rather a Western Branch first down. He'll pick up about seven yards on that. Play. Man, that play is working. They're just getting outside. Hey, they figure that they got so many, they have so many guys in the in the box that you can just take it to the outside. And, and Fentress, 4-3 speed, man, gets to the outside. Very good. Yes, yes. And a good drive. A lot of mixing, mixing, mm -hmm. pass, run. Keeps, keeps the Tiger defense off balance. 28-7, Western Branch. Down three touchdowns, just under two minutes to play. Motion from the near side to the far. Conroy back to pass. He's oh, feeling a little bit of pressure. Oh. Nice little screen pass. Nice to Josh screen. Baker. He gets to the 30, the 20, 15, 10. Still on his feet to the five. Carrying Oscar Smith Tigers with him. He gets down to about the, let's see, they'll spot that at about the five-yard line. We'll take a look at this replay. Nice catch by number 85 from number three. From number three, and that's, gosh, he picks up good yardage on that play. Uh, let's see. Well over 30 yards on that particular play. Not so much doing here for Western Branch as uh, at the bottom of that pile, again, is number 22, Cortland Mariner. And he'll pick up about four. Huh? A minute eight, the Western Branch Bruins now the ball at their own, or rather at the Oscar Smith five-yard line. Peter Conroy is the quarterback. Motion coming from Fetris. Going to turn around, fake the handoff to Mariner, but he's going to throw it into the end zone. It's anybody's ball, and it ends up being nobody's ball. An incomplete pass into the end zone. 46.2 seconds to play now in the first half. Third down and goal for the Western Branch Bruins right at the five-yard line. Forty-six point two seconds on the clock. All kinds of motion from Western Branch. Conroy is the quarterback again, third and goal from the five. He's going to give it to his favorite target on that carry for Western Branch. Is number twenty, Fentress. And he won't. Be, he'll pick up maybe a yard on that. You'll see right here, Fentress will get the handoff, come to the near side. He's got one blocker in front of him, but he gets a little bit too far out in front of, in front of him, and he's brought down by Tim Happer. And that brings up fourth and goal now at about the three-yard line. Twelve rushes in the second quarter compared to seven in the first for Western Branch. They will call one of their timeouts here, probably wise, 38.2 seconds, fourth and goal. 
a big play here. Western Branch would love to go into halftime down only two touchdowns as opposed to three. And this has been a good drive for them if they can score here, especially because they've been able to sort of methodically move down the field, starting back in their own territory. And to bring the ball downfield with a combination of different plays, different looks on that offensive side of the ball. 38.2 seconds, as we said, fourth down now. And goal from the three yard line. Western Branch going with that, that wing T. Portland Mariner number 22 is in the backfield. But Conroy wants to pass. He gets a pressure from Oscar Smith, and he is tackled at the 12-yard line. So that looked like a rushing play, really, in the stats as he loses 10 yards on that play. Conroy, the quarterback, number three, kept that ball and was trying to pass, but he was actually tackled for a loss. Oscar Smith now with the ball, first and 10 at their own 10-yard line, 32 seconds and no timeout. First and go, first and ten now from the Oscar Smith 10-yard line. Not really need to take too many chances, although they might like to score here. Up by three touchdowns. And now they will they will take a knee here and let the clock continue to run. That'll bring up second down and ten. Also about a yard here. 14, 13. I believe there's enough. The clock will run down to zero. Seven, six. And with just a couple seconds to go, that will be the end of the first half of play here from the Art Brander Sports Complex at Western Branch High School. And the Bruins in a little bit of trouble down 28 to seven to an Oscar Smith team that has pretty much done what they wanted to do really on both sides of the ball. Western Branch with one good big pass play. of 55 yards to get into the end zone. But Oscar Smith pounding the ball out, as Merlin said earlier, four touchdowns, four touchdowns, and from four different players, four different players scored. Now, Richard Morgan, Coach Morgan for Oscar Smith, has gathered all his players on the, over on the side, and he didn't look happy. I wonder why that is. Maybe we'll find out here. It looks like Merlin has him now down on the sidelines. Merlin. Coach, you told your players that you had, had a few words for your players. What were you telling them? Just told them, remember what happened last year? We're not done. We're coming back out, putting more points on the board, and we're going to dominate the second half. Coach, one impressive thing. you could, four, four different players have scored. A lot of people like to focus on on Cook, try to stop him, but you sprayed the well. This game plan was put together as soon as we got out of the playoffs last year. We've been preparing for this game for 300 days. We threw plays at him that we haven't thrown all year, and we got more in the second half. We've been ready for this game for 349 days, believe me. Talk about the work of your defense. Defense is doing great. We got a simple plan against wing T teams, and they're executing to perfection, except we let Fentress get outside a couple of times, and we gave up a touchdown on a pass. We shouldn't have done that. But other than that, we're doing a great job defensively. I couldn't ask any more. My kids are great. Love them. We're going to finish the second half this time. Okay, Coach, go which team? Hey, these guys are very focused. He wanted to make sure that these guys have no letdown at halftime. Richie, I think he's going to do the job. I tell you what, he, if he doesn't, he's going to be very upset about it. That's a serious guy right there. He goes into the end zone, or rather goes into the locker room up 28-7, to seven, uh, and he's right. The defense doing a great job. Merlin, I was making the point just before you talked to Coach Morgan, four touchdowns, each one by a different player, but he said they've been working on this game plan for 349 days. That's a long time. Well, another team being successful here at uh, Western Branch High School, you see uh, Art Brandreth, the principal here at Oscar Smith High School, or rather at Western Branch High School, passing out uh, baseball state championship rings to the Western Branch baseball team. I don't, I don't think she played. I'm not sure. 
that very successful season and really the last that would have been last spring after Western Branch uh, going to the state uh, football playoffs and, and being a uh, state runner up. Well, we'll hope you'll stick around here from Western Branch High School to score 28 to 7 in favor of the Oscar Smith Tigers. And hey, don't forget, coming up in just a few minutes, for those of you watching on TV, you'll see full performances from both the Oscar Smith and Western Branch High School marching bands. Don't you go anywhere. If you or someone you know suffers from Alzheimer's disease, you know how frustrating it can be. You look here for a little information, there a little more, and it just gets more confusing. Unless you remember this number, it's how you reach the National Institute on Aging. 1-800-438-4380. When it comes to getting information on Alzheimer's disease, it's the most important number you can know. see here is not a man who's disabled, but a man who's simply dead. Give the power to overcome. Give to Easter Seal. Ladies and gentlemen, taking the field, the marching through and band from Western Branch High School. Director of bands, Miss Crystal Scott. Crystal Scott. Senior drum major, Nick Conti. Drum major, please signal when your band is ready. You may take the field at exhibition.
cross, you're saving someone's life. How does that make you feel? That That's feel? just the greatest feeling in the world. An incredible feeling. Saving someone's life is, is, you know, like giving the assist to the guy who scored the game-winning goal. The best thing in the world. The best feeling you could ever have. You just kind of glow. You'll feel warm. You've got to do this. It's a great feeling. I just saved someone's life. The greatest gift you could possibly give to any, anybody else. Life. It feels good to save a life. Give blood. Well, here, after all that excitement at halftime, the score has not changed. It's still 28 to 7 in favor of the Oscar Smith Tigers. And for the, their part, they're getting the ball back. Let's take a look at those first half stats, Merlin. The thing that impresses you, Smith Tigers, 132 yards on the ground. I, I'm surprised that Western Branch has, uh, well, that one big pass accounts for their 95, 93 yards in the air, but 211 yards of total offense. Smith Tigers, uh, one turnover apiece, not too many penalties, well played first half. Oh, there's a penalty to the start of second half. Yeah, though. Oscar Smith's Tommy Lawrence is going to get the ball out to about the, uh, about the 35 or 36 yard line before he's brought down, but there is a penalty marker on the field as well. Number 89, Justin well, that's a holding penalty. 76 white. Holding. Oh, boy. That'll back, back. That'll back up. That uh, Richard Morgan's that uh, Richard Morgan pretty uh, intense guy, isn't he? Hey, I'm telling you, man, he just wants them not to forget last year. They were up by 18 points and, and looking real smooth. And, and then all of a sudden, the wheels fell off. And they and uh, Ron, uh, Ron Pond got hot. And, they turn over the ball, and Washington Brand was able to win possession. the ball, or win the ball game with with uh, less than 30 seconds left in the ball game. Yeah, Richard Morgan has not forgotten that. Oh man, it burns him. <laughs> yeah, we've been prepared for this game for 349 days. Oh man, goodness gracious, Boone again is going to hand the ball off this time. Oh, it looked like oh, it looked like did the ball get away from him. He may have. That was Joseph Jones with the ball that time, but it looks like Oscar Smith will retain possession. Now, here's the question. Where is Andre Cook? That is a good question. You would think he would be back in if they were just resting him. And that is nice defensive penetration right there. If I can see the number. Is that 82 for Western Branch? Is that Quintrell Thomas that got a first hand on it? Looked like it. Yeah, it looked like, like 82. Yeah, it looked like him. But good night. Where is uh? Yeah, it looked like 82. Would I'm looking tell? to see if I see Cook on the Oscar Smith sideline. Um, I can't tell. Boone again trips to the near side. Snap back, and he is just going to oh fake the goodness. handoff, keep it himself, and go around the far side. It's like a bootleg. Oh, He's got it. some first down and more out to the 40, about the 42 yard line. And that's a gain of about 13 or 14 yards. Man, he he's deceptively quick, man. He just dipped in. And he dipped well, out. I mean, yep. See, just a little stutter step. The He's Western again, branch, yeah. the Western branch defense bought that fake all the way. The only guy that stayed home was a safety. Yeah. And that gives uh, Oscar Smith a first down at their own 41 yard line. That's where the spot will start this series. And man, they're just doing a workman's job. I mean, they're just plodding along, picking up first downs. Cashing in in the red 